Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're doing a hinge upgrade for the back of the Jeep JK. Now I know a lot of people do like full tire um, holders and stuff like that which kind of replaces your hinge system on your Jeep but if you don't just spend that much money or you don't need it like we don't because we're running factory sized tires this is a really good hinge upgrade for your JK. These are really cheap. These were off eBay for $42. Um, they are metal. Um, they do feel pretty solid the reviews were mixed match um they i've already put the first one as you can see and they fit really well they feel quality one of the main reasons i want to do this as well is we do have the gas strut um and we have removed the gas strut recently um just uh to put it in a slight different location um and every time we used to open the um tailgate of the jeep it kind of dropped down a little bit and then when you push it back you'd have to lift it up a little bit to try and get it to clip um clip in so obviously one of these pins or something in the hinge um, has just worn out over time from use and stuff like that. Uh, so I wanted to upgrade and getting a replacement set of factory JK ones it was about the same price as these aftermarket heavy duty ones. Now as you can see they're a completely different um, look and make of the original Jeep ones. I think they're a great upgrade. Uh, there's two way. There's two reasons I went for such a aggressive or more aggressive looking hinge. One would be able to mount um, a, either a flagpole or what I want to do is actually mount my UHF radio uh, to this. You can actually just draw into this, um, tap it, whatever you want. Where these ones you can't, there's no external spot for you to actually mount anything to. So if you guys don't want to run a flag, if you're up in like sand dunes, or you like me, or you want to run your, your uh, blah, 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 blah. If you're like me and you want to run your UHF radio, that's a great location for it as well. Really cheap, but it's a great upgrade for your Jeep. And it's a quick install that's going to take maybe... 20 30 minutes for this install is probably half an hour out of your day. Uh, 13 mil socket, an extension with it as well, and also a T50 torque spit as well. Now, there's one bolt on the outer there, as you'll see, two bolts there, and then two bolts for your 13 mil in here. Well, that's probably a better location to show it actually. You can see how crusted and kind of yuck. I think there's something dirty inside that. Just look, they just look yuck. Anyway, the black looks way more aggressive. So if you guys want to check the, this product out, I'll leave it a link in the description. $42 from eBay is a great deal. Super easy in store, minimal tools, anybody can do this at home. Let's get to it, get it done. Let's get these hinge upgraded. Now the first thing I've done is I don't want the door to drop down. So what I'm doing is doing one hinge at a time. That way the whole door is not going to sit down. That way you won't have to lift it back up. Other thing is I'm doing it is just putting a little bit of cardboard underneath the door just to give a little bit more support like we did when we put our um, step on the side of it. That would just give you a little bit of an extra support when you do that door off. Also, the other thing we did was actually remove the spare tire. Now I did a video last week about removing this and how easy and simple it is, depending on why you want to remove it, whether it's to replace the hinges or just to delete your spare tire. The video is just sitting right up there if you guys want to check that out if you haven't done that before. Really quick and easy, probably adds 10 minutes to your job if that. So. Start removing these two bolts here. You'll need to remove these two first before you can get to these two, and you can remove that one at the same time. see how easy that takes to swing back and once we put the new one on you'll be able to see the difference well here's the difference here actually compared to that just free flying and we how stiff the new one is a bit crusty as well aren't they?
So what we're doing is, because these don't actually cover the full distance of the original ones, there's a little bit of this exposed metal. A lot of people might not have this, but we do, and we'll just go along with a touch-up pen and just cover in the gaps that will be shown. It won't be perfect, but it will. Alright, so you guys can see that difference, how loose the other one was compared to this one. Now as we did on top one, we've got to tighten these two top ones up before uh, these two top ones, or inner ones, before you put these on. If you put these on, you won't be able to get to these anymore. So make sure you do those up nice and tight. You can leave that one loose if you want, and you can put these two on there. Oh. So that's in too high. As you guys saw there, we have done these ones up too tight and it wasn't quite lined up properly, so it was actually sitting like up like that. So maybe line these two bolts up, like leave these loose, line that up, and then do this one up tight. So then that section doesn't move and those are lined up. Pull that out. There's a trick for being phase. We are done. Looking pretty smart. So much better than the factory ones. So just test. Smooth as can be. And they look sick. They look absolutely mint. There's no. It's actually moving the whole Jeep rather than the hinges. Cool. Flows really nicely. Good. And they look mint. Fitment, good, or would have liked to come a bit further out and come a bit higher on those. It covers up those spots that weren't quite painted. You guys might not have that issue if you guys, don't know. I don't know why those weren't painted. I think these, this tub used to be, uh, or rear hatch used to be a different color before I bought it. So, kind of sucks and we might have to touch those up a bit more later. That looks janky as hell, but looks all right so that's it for today guys if you like this video i think it looks absolutely mint super excited to actually get the uhf um and maybe some other accessories on there as well they are heavy duty hinges compared to the factory ones so they're going to be able to take a little bit more weight i know a lot of people when they run bigger tires 33s 35s they always have issues with like the back kind of dripping a bit and making it a little bit harder to um open and shut your tailgate so this this might be a really good option for you guys and they just look even just the aesthetics of them they just it's just such a good upgrade to the jeep for such a small price 42 dollars i'll leave a link down in the description for you it's not sponsor or anything i just saw them i was like that's a sweet upgrade to the jeep for not much money at all so that's it for today guys if you like this video smash that like button if you haven't already smash that subscribe button i really appreciate it if you do really tell youtube that you like this content you want to see more drop a comment if you haven't if you haven't if you would like to i love reading comments i love interacting with you guys and stuff like that if you haven't follow us on instagram we do like little behind the scenes things we show um before clips and then we do a video maybe like a week later of like the full installation and a rundown and review of the actual products as well so thank you guys so much for watching as always as always i stuff that up as always thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next week